Hello again. It's Monday, September 2nd, 2024. This is Journal TV and I'm Jerry Clark. It's time for the news. The town of Clifton Forge finally found a way to get a big crowd to turn out for its various Fridays in the Forge events. A set of pro wrestling matches brought several hundred people to Ridgeway Street for the action last Friday. And singer-songwriter Matt Mullins also performed several tunes for the audience. For many photos and at least four videos of the action, visit the Allegheny Journal's Facebook page. Coming up this Saturday from 10 to 2 p.m., it's Harvest Fest at the Livingstone Ministries Church on Griffith Road in Clifton Forge. Food, music, a car show, pony and hay rides, and there'll be so much more. And not far down the road, beginning at 5 p.m., it's the annual Nicely Town Picnic and Gospel Sing, which will feature great food and gospel music at the Lone Star Advent Christian Church. Video of both events with Dale Mutterspaw and Matt O'Meara are now on the Allegheny Journal's Facebook page. A very big arts community celebration will take place in downtown Clifton Forge on both Friday and Saturday, September 20th and 21st. There'll be a vastly expanded art market, food court, demonstrations, music, and much more. The Allegheny Highlands Arts and Crafts Center Executive Director, Connie Baker, spoke with the Allegheny Journal about it all in a video that will be coming soon to the Allegheny Journal's Facebook page. And there's more about this celebration now on AlleghenyJournal.com. And now a word from our sponsor. A 10th anniversary homecoming celebration was held at the Pine Street Baptist Church in Covington on Sunday. Special speakers addressed the congregation at both the morning and afternoon services. The Allegheny Journal was able to capture some of the special music provided by the Resurrecting Praise Community Choir. And three selections from that performance are now on the Allegheny Journal's Facebook page. The Allegheny Journal earlier noted in a weekend Facebook post that bears had invaded the city of Covington. But these are harmless ones, located across the road from Arby's on Durant Road, courtesy of the efforts of the Covington Parks and Recreation Department. Rain and the threat of severe thunderstorms resulted in the cancellation of last Saturday night's performance of country music singer-songwriter Matt Tucker at the Jackson River Sports Complex. But the good news is that he'll be back at the same venue on October 12th. And don't forget, the Covington Labor Day Parade is set for this afternoon in downtown Covington beginning at 3 p.m. Native Coventonian and James Madison University track coach Delethea Quarles will greet the crowd. And we'll be right back.
And now for regional obituaries. Brenda Wickline, 55 of White Sulphur Springs, passed away Thursday. Mary Martin, 75 of Hot Springs, died Wednesday. Gerald Laudermilk, 74 of Lewisburg, passed away August 24th. Stephen Gottschall, 63 of Caldwell, died August 7th. And Martha Bowers, 65 of Covington, passed away on Friday. More information on all obituaries may be found on AlleghenyJournal.com. And let's check out the local weather forecast. On Tuesday, it should be mostly sunny, high of 77 and low of 55. On Wednesday, mostly cloudy, high of 77 and a low of 60. And on Thursday, partly cloudy, high of 77 and a low of 62 degrees. And that's the way it is on Monday, September 2nd, 2024. More stories, photos, videos, and interviews are available 24-7, 365 on AlleghenyJournal.com, YouTube, and on our soaring Facebook page. Thanks very much for watching Journal TV. Pre-planning a funeral presents a loving and considered gift to your family. Making decisions now provide a framework for future choices. We invite you to stop by the funeral home. Let us answer any questions you may have about pre-funding or pre-arranging a funeral service.